Alright. Alright, and we are back. Apologies for the very tiny hiccup. Unsure of what happened, but we should be back into it right now. Nothing has happened yet. Just, just gonna see. It's just gonna be getting into the match right now. You didn't miss anything. Still five to one, but the pick is gonna be extra happy. That is rice. I forgot which rice it was. Rice four, if I'm not mistaken. All right, rice four it is. Young and Turks will be playing for China on this pick. Jose and my angel Arquin for the Philippine side. Pretty. Basically, the rice duos for each of these teams throughout the entire tournament. Uh, yeah, they did not gonna did not gonna just start experimenting with different people. Just gotta put the strongest and hope for the best. Young and Turks, super super strong accuracy advantage right on the get go. Yeah, really, really strong right now. Even Jose is actually finding himself at a lower accuracy compared to Turk. Not something that we see that often. It's just my angel arguing the best. But best everyone is still going to be hoping that. Turk trading that. All right, so that's and that's a oh. massive accuracy drop from Turk oh, as well. Yeah, they're gonna trade. This is. Uh, Mysore Arquin is going to be taking a bit of a break as well in that broken tree. Young has to... Young possibly needs to drop him. a very massive drop in Philippines waters. Oh, oh. And Turks trading misses that gives him the slight into the Philippines. Yeah, Turks actually had a, a lot, a much bigger, much bigger rush there compared to Jose. Oh, Turks are struggling yeah. there on that section. I mean, not, not to continue with that. The young alone might, the not be able to, might not be able to hold it though. Philippines seeing a golden opportunity here on this pick. And there we go, Philippines get their second point of the match. Also, so far, just both a right pick that. Yup, uh, but that was Philippines super shaky though. Rice. That was super shaky. But the Philippines get their second point, which is which is what they need. Also, Yang, what are you doing? 10 200s. 100. What are you doing? He's built different. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, whoever, whoever made him just put a little bit of extra effort. Now China with only one LN left, and it is also going to be the LN that they have banned against Thailand. So I'm not too sure if they're going to go for this. Might not be so. Might not be really that confident on it. But they also kind of do still have the hybrids to oh, go off of. But they are going to pick they're, Bad Elixir. They're going to go full LN. All LN charts exhausted in this match. And this is going to be their bid to get to match point. Alright, so if China takes this LN pick, the score will be 62. And you know what the score 62 means, right? We've seen what happened with Philippines and South Korea. Maybe this time it'll be the other way around. Well, it's going to be one heck of a task though. We've seen how strong the Chinese team is. But like, yeah, after after LNs are done, but they have the chance. The only rice and hybrids left, and Philippines has already won both of the rice picks that they that they chose. The Philippines has the chance to do to do what happened to them last weekend, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to. I'm pretty sure they don't want to get it to that point again. 
Uh, yeah, if they also get the tiebreaker, we're gonna see a throwback to 2019. Oh, in the yeah. Wheel of Fire if that ha happens, oh man, everyone's gonna go absolutely hot wild. I don't think I'll be able to hold back at this booth as well. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> knows my nationality, but I've been holding back. It, it's okay, it's the patriotic spirit. Uh, we, we commend that, we commend that. Oh man, Bad Elixir... I guess, um, the reason China banned us against Thailand might be possible that they were expecting Thailand to be super strong in the LNs. But yeah, Lost Cool and Miski, they're basically the LN duo for Thailand. So that's probably what they were going for, but now with China actually having the courage to pick LN, pick Bad Elixir against the Philippines. Maybe they know something that we don't. Also, a matter of history, Bad Elixir was played in Philippines versus Japan. Philippines getting 1.896 million points. They might be thinking that they have enough, enough of a power to get that score as well, or even better that. Ooh, that yeah, was hitting a very early miss. Oh, so yeah, Rabbit not looking that good. Also worth noting that in the I'm match, uh, that immediately. Bad Elixir for the roster for Philippines was Mindful Arc Green and Sunny instead of Black Points. Sunny's PC might have might have died, that's why Black Point is playing. Oh yeah. Like after true. a BSOD. Uh, yeah, Sunny's PC couldn't handle the pressure, so it just decided to say, nope, we're done. No more OSU for today. It might be possible, but it is working for the Philippines right now. The lead is not safe. That's the thing. Definitely not. Definitely not. But it is working. Liang and Mindel Arquid's accuracies are pretty similar as well. That's why we're seeing super close scores. Satori yep. and Black Satori Points also being very close. Cool. Yeah, Satori being the only one under 99%, so that is going to be helping Philippines a tiny bit more in that accuracy department. Oh yeah, I'm dropping the full combo! That, will, that is one very lucky break for the Philippines here. They just need to take advantage of that. Oh my god, I'm trading that immediately. Oh no, it, and it was And that was Clive. a very massive accuracy drop as well for my Angel Arquin. Uh, it was Client. Liang actually did not drop his combo. Oh but no, Client. Definitely was a real drop. Oh man, the Client giving us heart attacks here. Alright, heading into the final section here. Not, not a lot of map left to be had, but if it continues on this way... China will probably be taking Ooh, the point. Oh, Satori getting very late oh, miss! The Philippines oh, will be getting this oh, point! Oh, oh my god! Oh my Literally god! The last five seconds. Oh my god, it looks so... It looks so good in China's favor. What happened? Oh man, Satori! At the very last oh, moment no. of the chart, messing up! That and the Philippines like, get their third the, point! The worst CB rush that they've ever happened. It looked really good for China until the last five seconds. And that was. And the Philippines get their the breakpoint. They've, the They've been needing this. They've been needing this breakpoint. A land map, no less. Yeah, this, this, this is actually huge. And now with they with the ball in their court, they're gonna have a couple more options in terms of rice. Oh, oh man, this None match is far from over. This match is far from over, folks. Yeah, with all the Olympics being exhausted, what does China have left? They have Kama and Brick Dama, those are hybrids. Not too sure. Not too sure if they're actually gonna go with any rice picks later on. Like the thing here, the thing is like China's score on on the rice picks are pretty strong as well. Like yeah, it, rice one. Uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, 
it's strong, don't get me wrong. But there has to be a reason why China has been avoiding rice picks up until now. Or so far. Does look like we are seeing rice one. Here's the thing though, China has a 1.941 million score on Rice 1. Super, super good score from Liang yesterday against Thailand. Ooh, yeah, getting the Philippines. The, so the Philippines. Yep. And the Philippines has to be super confident going into this pick if they want to get that fourth point in the match. So five to three now. That that uh, point gap has been cut down just a tiny bit, and Philippines must be breathing a sigh of relief for for right now. As we see, a rice map means we see Jose and Maestro Arquin back in once again for Philippines, and of course China with Turk stepping in for Sapori. And here we go with Rice 1, which I will try not to pronounce the title. Rice 1, Kimito Bokue na Osoka. There you go. Did it for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, here we go. Very, very simple intro, but don't be fooled. Very ominous intro. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Oh, Liang with a very early miss that will give the Philippines some sort of an advantage, but again, this is very early into the chart. Yeah, very early, but Jose right now has the accuracy lead over Liang. And well, there it goes. Jose dropping there. Right up. Yeah, just right there. And that is going to send the lead back over but to China. But we'll have to see if they will hold that lead once Jose hits that 400 combo. And China does. Yeah, China is going to hold, hold on to that. Oh, Jose yeah, dropping again. Like, that combo. That is a very massive drop on Jose. <laughs> Yeah, a couple breaks in quick succession. Only Mindful Arquins left to fend for himself, trying to get to that full count, trying to match up to the score or the accuracy from Liang. But he for a combo from a combo standpoint, he is still pretty much full combo. Dark's apparently trading that miss from Jose just earlier, but like Jose is actually below 99% accuracy, that will not be helping the Philippines cause. Those streams are just relentless. It's really amazing that both the team managed to hold on onto that. This section right here is a little bit more core. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping the combo, uh, but more core hit. my gel are trading that as well. No more for combo yeah. stuff in the room. Turks and my gel are trading, but it's not enough. Final moments here. Turks finding another break. He's gonna need more of that to give Philippines a fighting chance, but Jose is gonna be the one who drops that. But Liang also in the end. But that is gonna be it. Not enough of drops happening from China's side for Philippines to take control of. And China will be at match point with their pick. Again, we see Liang with a really insane accuracy. And very, very nice 200 count. So that is sub 10. I, I have no words. I have no words. China is one point away from eliminating the team that brought South Korea to tiebreaker last week. Yeah, and also we're pointing out that now China has the power of choice. But with LNs are no more gone. Honestly, hybrids are probably the only thing left. But they did also manage to just win on the rice pick, so they kind of do have some room to experiment around. 
but with this match being one for the podium, I'm not sure if they're gonna start experimenting or if they'll just pick something that they know that they can get a really good score on. I think the key here, especially going to the hybrids, is going to be the Philippines' second player. Oh, we're seeing so gets it instead. We are not going to see hybrids just yet. And like China is a super strong, super strong score as well here on this chart against Thailand yesterday. The Philippines needs a very, very, very special score if they want to extend this match and bring this a tiebreaker. Yeah, definitely. Philippines will need to have both players at least at a 960k for them to have a fighting chance because that was the lowest score on China's side when they went up against Thailand. Very tall order, but if anyone can do it, Jose and Maiza Arquin is probably the best players to do so. And oh here man, we the nerves. Go. The nerves, oh my goodness. Yeah, they're definitely feeling the pressure right now. Match point for China, Philippines. They have to come up with something special, as you said. All right, starting off, we see quite a bit of a uh, little bit of density, but not as hard as uh, some of the other rice cakes. Everyone reaching 400 combo pretty safely, and accuracy wise, though, they're pretty much equal. Pretty like, the even accuracies, yeah. Yeah, the difference between Mindzo Arquin and Liang is kind of like you know, cancelled out by Church and and Jose. But right now, actually, Coach finds a little bit of a accuracy drop earlier on. So right now, Philippines Ooh, does Turks have a dropping bit more their combo. Back. That will help the Philippines young as well, dropping their oh, combo. No full combo stuff on the Chinese side. Philippines with a golden opportunity here. Yeah, this is Philippines' Philippines point to lose because as right now they're just going to be taking their 1.5 combo, 5k combos, and they're just going to roll with it. Oh man, this lead is not safe at all. China is still within striking distance in case the Philippines commit some mistakes. Actually, I think I think Philippines they do have room for one small drop, but that's probably all that they can uh, that they can afford. Oh, but turns Turks right now dropping again. That will give Philippines some more breathing room. Jose now getting a, getting a miss. My angel Arquin needs to hold on to this combo now. It's gonna happen. They're already halfway in the map. Liang finds another break, but now Jose is gonna trade it right back. Arquin, mind the Arquin, still holding that full combo. That is gonna help them tremendously. Liang having better accuracy than Jose, just to note. So China's still not out of this. Uh, but but Turks. Definitely thought of catching up to do. They can't afford any more drops. And the same for Liang though. Liang themselves Ooh, gonna be finding again drop, dro so also dropping. China looking pretty unstable right now. Whereas Philippines, they have my angel Arquin to carry the team all the way to the end. But this is still not comfortable. I think China is still within striking distance. Is a is a clear difference of about twenty. 8,000 points right now. But, but yeah, China definitely stands, still striking distance, but Philippines are gonna need to have a pretty big dropping drop their for combo. That but as it stands. Oh, Jose taking another break, a little bit of a weird one that was. There was not many notes on screen. But, and another one. Jose, another that one. Hit. Will Kura be able to take the full combo? Will they be able to. Secure the fourth point Ooh, for the Philippines. Oh my god, there, that might be enough. And there we go, Philippines get their fourth point. My Angel Arquid pulling off a very special performance right there. Yeah, 
That's so, what the Philippines they, needs now. They, uh, absolutely insane. Now, once again, Philippines, they are still they are still being held at match point from China, though. Oh man! What can they pick? Only one more race card left, so we have we will be seeing one of the hybrids if this goes the distance. Yeah, if it does, only life is piano is remaining. That is court jacks, if I'm not mistaken. Like this piano is so risky though. I mean Jose struggled with the combo on Life is Piano yesterday against Japan. And I'm and this is that one rice chart from that we haven't seen from China as well. Yesterday against Thailand, so we don't know what's going to happen if they're going to pick Life is Piano. At this point it might be a little bit of a little bit too risky though but aside from that I'm really not sure what else they can pick if they are going hybrid as well based on what they based on the J Japan match um, we might be seeing Jose staying as well and it does appear we uh, are going to go for a hybrid the first hybrid chart of the match Yeah, this is pretty much uncharted territory for for both teams. Because they've been avoiding the hybrids up until now where it's a necessity to pick it. Oh man, I can't look. <laughs> but I need to, I'm commentating. Yeah, it's a really risky pick, honestly speaking. But basically, any pick is gonna be very risky from here on out. Like, I'm pretty sure the tiebreaker is now in the minds of these players. Oh yeah, for sure. If we see a tiebreaker, it'd be a repeat of what happened in 2019. Honestly, Philippines... I mean, Philippines, they probably don't want to play the tiebreaker, but right now with China at match point, if they do go the distance, they're gonna have to. Also, just to note, um, both teams did play this yesterday against their opponents, and there was only 10,000 points of difference trying to have the better yeah. team score. Yeah, this one's gonna be Yang getting the first drop really on the close pick. One, I can tell. Oh, but this is a four minute twenty seven yeah, second start. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, they do have some. They do have a little bit of a more breathing room. They can afford to break pretty early on. So far, Philippines Turks dropping normal full combos to the Chinese side. Turks, that is a massive drop on Turks. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that was a lot, a lot of breaks. And now Liang is also following his dude. Oh man, Philippines! The Philippines, on side of Philippines yeah. the Philippines with a massive opportunity to take advantage. Jose dropping the full combo. My Angel Archer, the only full combo left on the Philippine side. Jose and Turks trading. Oh yeah, once again, going into the LN intense section. You see Turks, who, is not, who has not played any of the LN picks right now, struggling a tiny bit on it. But this is a very long chart. Anything could still happen. My Angel Arquin and Jose oh. dropping. No more full combos left, and this score oh, difference is oh, about yeah. to shift. And there it goes. We're still, we're still getting a lot of flickering happening right here. And this really intense Ellen section right here. 
the Philippines the narrowly the Philippines narrowly escaping that scare. But this we're just halfway through the chart. Was it dropping a lot? Oh, oh, that is breaks. not good. But Turks who won who is not that player for China, they held through that like a champ. And this great section right here is not doing Jose any favors. They need to build that goof 100 combo soon. Oh, Turks now with a miss and another miss. Oh, yeah. So rough. I mean, Jose managing to hold on to that, that's gonna give a little bit of a, a glimmer of hope over for the Philippines. Ooh, Major Argon dropping their combo. Oh, Yang, the only substantial combo left. Yang now has to drop uh, for the Philippines to even get some hope here. Yeah, definitely. Philippines needs to drop from Liang. One comes from Turks, but not Liang just yet. But Mines the Arkwin is gonna trade that right back. Jose, and Jose as well, adding the misses. Jack. Just about less than less than a fifth of the map left to go. Liang finally finds a break. Oh, Liang Hopefully finally dropping a break. But oh, Arkwin is gonna trade that instead. And Turks is gonna trade that trade, and Jose is gonna trade that one. So basically, we're all even once again. The Going question the is: final. Is there enough time? Is there enough time for the Philippines to catch up? Turks and Jose did trade misses once again, but I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough time. There's gonna be need, they're gonna need to have a complete knockout from China, starting with Liang. But Jose once again is gonna trade that right back. Not looking good at all, and this point is and all but over is... from that drop. Arquin. And China will be advancing to the losers bracket finals with a 7-4 win against the Philippines. The Philippines missing out on the podium oh, this year. Yeah, really strong oh, showing man. though. It's really unfortunate that one of these teams had to settle for fourth place, but nonetheless. Really, really insane performances all around. Very, very insane. Like, we just cannot discount uh, the Philippines at all. Like, they've shown very good form, especially against that South Korea match last week. But we have to say goodbye to them now from the Osama 7K World Cup 2022. And congratulations to Team China for advancing to the Loses bracket finals, assuring themselves of at least third place. They will be waiting for the losers of the next match scheduled for tonight. Yep, at 13 UTC is about an hour and 45 minutes from now. That will be the winner's bracket match between Malaysia and South Korea. Another match you don't want to miss. I mean, if last week was to go... If last week was an example, South Korea is not unbeatable in this tournament. Yeah, I I really can't wait for that. But for but, now, okay, yeah. uh, do you have any any final words before we sign off? Well, if anything though. Malaysia has one heck of a task because I'm pretty sure the South Koreans will want to make a statement after last week as well. It's going to be interesting yeah, to sure. see what's going to happen by then. All right, so that's gonna that's gonna be about it for from us as commentators. Uh, so. We'll basically, we will we'll see you in about an hour and 45 minutes from now for the match between Korea and Malaysia. So until then, I'm Cryolian, and for Surf2, we're signing off. So take care.